Caddy sampling the delights of Benidorm back in June. And we'll keep you posted about that UNESCO application. It should be an interesting one. Now, here in Sicily, you may not find high-rise hotels, but what you will find, like it or not, is a whiff of the Cosa Nostra. Some tourists are lured here by Hollywood-inspired ideas of organized crime. But many locals say they've had enough of what they dub mafia tourism, as I discovered back in September. <laughs> Sicily is one of Italy's most beautiful islands, known for its popular beaches and ancient ruins. But it's also known for its association with one of the most powerful organized crime syndicates in the world, the Mafia. The organization is known locally as the Cosa Nostra, or Our Thing, with a history of larceny, blackmail and murder stretching back over 150 years. Now this might sound very exciting for outsiders with visions inspired by gangster movies of shootouts and intrigue, but for the people of Sicily, it's an everyday reality. Today, after decades of crackdowns, many of Sicily's big mob bosses are behind bars. But the organization still exerts a wide influence on the island, from high-level political corruption to petty extortion rackets. In recent years, Sicilians have made efforts to rebuff the Mafia influence, and one sector that's helping to lead the fight is tourism. We call this tour No Mafia, Palermo No Mafia, because we would like to give you a different uh, perspective, a different idea of what the Mafia really is, and a different idea of what Sicily and the Sicilians are doing against the Mafia. This walking tour in Palermo is run by an organization called Adio Pizzo, translating as Bye Bye Protection Money. The tour only visits shops that have declared they would defy the Mafia and not pay the money. Let's go inside now, yes. One such shop is La Coppola Storta, which specializes in creating the traditional Coppola flat caps that have become synonymous with the Mafiosa. It is important to, to explain to the people that Coppola is a, is a new symbol, it's not a symbol of Mafia, it's a symbol of New Sicily, and Sicily has many things to offer to the world. Not just the Mafia? No. <laughs> Despite the controversy, it's clear that many in Sicily are prepared to promote the island's mafia associations if it means drawing in more tourists. That's the reality today, but perhaps one day, when tourists think of Sicily, it won't be a romantic idea of the mafia that comes to mind, but instead a story of a brave grassroots movement that fought back against their oppressors and won. Locals trying to create a new image for Sicily back in September on The Travel Show.